Don De Maria, and I've been here since 1978. And it's changed a lot in those years, not for the good, I'm afraid. The watercolor has changed tremendously. When I first came down here, the keys were advertised as um, having cobalt blue water. Now it's more of a green color, and the TDC refers to it as emerald green. But it's, you know, it's algal blooms. Nobody wants to admit it, and everybody just sort of adapts. Calls it by a different name, it sounds pleasing. A lot of people um, just need to be educated. That's number one. People right now think that the coral reefs here in the Florida Keys that have so little coral left, on the average of 5% uh, coral cover, people think that's due to global warming. Our planet is warming, that is true. But is that what is really causing the problems that we're seeing in the corals with the algae blooms and the diseases and the coral bleaching? Unprecedented. Yep. I've been doing this back here for 25 years and I've never seen anything like it. Half the trap is under sand or whatever this stuff is and it suffocates everything. This is what was on there a lot thicker, and it was just covered. And it would suffocate the trap. It wouldn't allow any oxygen for the crabs to stay in there. I don't think they get out. We know from past use of septic tanks and cesspools here on Big Pine Key, through our long-term monitoring of groundwater wells in the Key Deer Refuge, that we have seen the nitrogen concentrations in this freshwater lens go up over three decades. As corals see more nitrogen, but not phosphorus, they, they go from a state of nutrient limitation, low nitrogen, low phosphorus, to a state of phosphorus starvation. When I first came down here, there were large stands of elk corn and stag corn, and slowly it just died off. It's, it's a shame, it's hardly any coral left now. It sounds good, everybody wants to rebuild the reef, and it's just not that simple. You know, it's just trying to put corals out, and they just die. It's sort of like putting new tires on your car rather than fixing the road. You gotta fix the water quality here, or replanting corals just isn't gonna work. We need to reduce nitrogen at all the sources that are contributing, and that includes sewage. Septic tanks put out about 65 milligrams per liter of nitrogen and the effluent from the Kajo regional plant is about one milligram per liter and it goes down a deep well. So that's going to be a, a big, big improvement. One, one of the impacts we've seen here on Big Pine Key in the Florida Keys this past year it was Hurricane Irma that hit last September 10th, a category four hurricane that uh, eye wall hit Kajo Key just to the west of us, but that dirty uh, right-hand quadrant came ashore on Big Pine Key. We had up to 20 feet of surge on the south end of the island and up to 180 mile an hour winds. It was devastating. But one of the great stories that came out of Hurricane Irma was the fact that over the past several years, our wastewater infrastructure has been upgraded and relies heavily on all-terrain sewers, these low-pressure sewers that are sealed systems, unlike gravity sewers that are not sealed. And because of this, the raw wastewater was contained. And this really uh, was a major factor uh, in our nearshore waters where we didn't have a lot of raw sewage. In fact, there were no reported wastewater spills in the lower Florida Keys following a Category 4 hurricane. And there was opposition about the grinder pumps, but it seems like even those held up with four or five feet of water on top of them, and it still, still worked. We are, you know, here on Big Pine Key, blessed with the highest biodiversity in the continental United States. Very unique environment. And these all-terrain sewers um, have worked so well because instead of having to dig deep trenches for gravity sewers where you would be laying pipe in our sensitive groundwaters here on Big Pine, 
such as the freshwater lens, um, these, these all-terrain sewers can be put in a much smaller, shallower trench. And furthermore, they're sealed. They don't leak. And the best part about this story is that this isn't being driven so much by global warming as people have thought, which means we can't really do a lot about it. We can do something about the nitrogen problem. We can put in all-terrain sewers and pretty much totally remove the human sewage footprint.